You know one thing that brings me joy more than anything else? Even more than seeing half-naked Jonathan Majors? It's when conservative bigots lose their shit over representation in media. Welcome to my safe gaven. So this video is going to be spoilers for the latest episode of The Last of Us, so hopefully you've seen it. But as a person that has played both games, I could not wait until we got to this episode with the grand reveal that Ellie is a lesbian. Because the people that lost their shit over episode three, I was like, oh, wait till you find out one of the main characters is also a lesbian. And I've said this before on this app and plenty of other places, but anytime you see somebody use the word woke as a negative, it's them admitting without admitting that they're racist, sexist, and homophobic. And then they try to justify themselves by saying things like this. The lesbians aren't scary. It's that they're kids. Don't push the woke BS on my kids. Let them be kids. As if kids aren't gay. And then not only just that, but how many romantic kid shows have there been throughout American film history where there's heterosexual storylines? Vampire Diaries, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 90210, Dawson's Creek, One Tree Hill, Gossip Girl. Hell, there's literally a show on Netflix called Sex Education about teenagers. Damn near every single Disney movie. But let something other than heterosexuality be depicted, people flip out. Episode three of The Last of Us was review bombed. And then you also have people like this. Percent to a new series high with heartbreaking. Episode three. It's historic. It's important. Okay, guys, it's historic and important. Now, why is it historic and important? It's historic and important because it's about two gay dudes. That's why. So the essential plot of this episode, which is the problem with this episode. And again, you want to make Brokeback Zombie Farm or whatever? Fine. Ben Shapiro went on a whole rant about how episode three was just terrible because it's about two gay dudes. You heard him call it Brokeback Zombie Farm. But I'm like, I'm sorry, Shapiro. I find it very laughable how you're trying to talk about how something is bad considering how you tried to get a job as a screenwriter in Hollywood, but nobody will hire you because your writing was terrible. But anyway, this episode was great, and it just goes to show that we need more leading queer characters in genre films, TV shows, video games, comic books, etc. Especially queer characters of color, black queer characters, because representation matters, and representation equals normalization.